go. Pure. Oh my god, he wants to trees. steal this? I mean, he's tried it before. He has a gem, though. He could it's... Meteor from Falcon Give Vision. Uh, he's oh. gonna try. Meteor. It actually hits everybody. And Pure, he's they just gonna He puts the gem down first, though, trying to get some sort of steal. But we can see that Roche is not nearly close enough to go down. And Pure will get punished. Now, will they retrieve the gem? Will. Gaming Gladys just randomly run into it. We'll see on this episode of What the Hell Are You Doing Pure? <laughs> right now. They've got this one that is about to time out. They have a new one bottom at Ramses. Ramses trying to go for Medusa. Let's see how oh big she is this God. time. That is the squishiest Medusa we've seen in the entire tournament. He just looked like a normal hero. It did. It looked balanced, actually. Unreal. Nine pandas. Absolutely punishing Ash okay. FHP. They're not going to go any further. They're going to force this fortification. There is a buyback onto Monet, but not on Sumail. Despite seeing being so far as oh, Kyo Taka stop is keeping them in the back. He both. gets a double kill in the fountain. How? How does that happen? And just like that, there's three down for Aster, only two alive with the buyback coming out from Monet, which means nine pandas, if they have the creeps, can actually just continue on uncontested. Uh oh, I don't think Aster feel any good about all of this. Just suddenly. Oh top, they end up prioritizing Ace here, and maybe also helping T2000 as he is just rushing the Midas here on the faces void. The Enigma's a bit more self-sustaining. Oh, he's in Black hole. hole from Malik. That is actually a really good response. It may not be enough to keep him alive. The Malphys with the Hex, they change oh, just enough to get the kill on Quinn. What a beautiful turn from Malik. You might even Such get out. a heads up read to TP Ooh. out too. That was sick. Here. As Roche still has not been attempted by either team, knowing how important this can be in the state of the game. Nightfall already using the Blade Fury. Dimanche is looking and cooking. Preemptively popping that Glimpse. false Nova. Glimpse, nope. Not gonna find him. Static Storm actually wasted as well, but a big back wall comes in on to two safe with another beautiful initiation. GPK trying to focus down the Dark Seer. Sark Saves gonna be the first to fall. Nightfall, Nightfall getting he's super low, but he's nice dealing with that 20 talent. He cannot die, apparently. Duraccio completely oh, out of mana. He, he does die, though. The Juggernaut is dead. Duraccio with a double base. A big turnaround from Quest, but can he fight through Duraccio on a second life? They're gonna be able to blow up his focus yes, fire, man. Still stuck in this focus fire. Noob, he's oh, gonna be left without his carry and Quest. West. Oh no! The fight. Quinn trying to create some space so this tier two could be uncontested. We can see GPK and Toronto Tokyo They're on the high ground. They're gonna pop the link and essentially pulverize the follow. Pure jumps up with a newly picked up blink dagger, and that is the Aegis. Uh -oh. Will he be able to get out? The Ravage comes oh. out. He gets to the high ground first, though. Trying to get the roll Excuse done. He will me? be successful. Beautifully done from Quinn. They waste the Ravage. He TPs out. So in the end, you're trading Ravage for. The Aegis. No, he got away with murder there. My good. For pure. It's also a dieback from yeah. Celery just to give another jumpy jump stack to Mr. Pure. As he right. goes, Puh! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is my favorite. If и все равно Bugger Protection там еще не скоро включится. Трон начинает гореть. Сейф пытается спасти ситуацию. Но все очень плохо. Сейф погибает. ГПК пытается на всю ману. Трон горит, трон горит, трон горит, трон горит. Его просто забирают, его просто затыкают руками. Неужели так просто закончится эта карта? О, неужели? Да, Пьюр врывается, твою мать. По всей видимости, да. Да. Красиво победа гладиаторов. Выиграли буквально один файт. Парочку, парочку драк, и все. Эта драка на Рошане она была настолько решающая. Они делали три байбека на ней, поставили все на кон и победили. Она того стоила.